Hello, welcome back, Regal Smith here. Today I'm gonna to give you a sneak peek inside of my holistic health bathroom cabinet and give you some inspiration on how you can start to incorporate some of these into your daily routine to decrease your toxic load. Now, if you're new here, you know I talk about holistic health, wellness, and essential oil education. So when I discovered a lot of these essential oils, it was a time when I was trying to repair my gut, get my hormones in check, get my skin in check, get my hair to grow back, my mood swings to stop swinging so far. And I started to learn about some of the products that I was using on a daily basis and how they were contributing to my toxic load that was making it difficult for my body to repair itself. So when I discovered some of the essential oils, one of the first things that I replaced in my bathroom cabinet was using Digest Zen. Now this is things for all things digestive health. And for my personal situation, I had over two shelves of digestive support items in here. And this one little bottle was able to replace those for me. And what works best for me is just one drop on my abdomen whenever I feel digestive discomfort after eating or as needed. You could also put a drop in water. So a lot of the oils that we have are safe for internal use. They'll have supplemental nutrition facts. And this one bottle was so easy to throw in my purse. I didn't feel like I had to carry around a suitcase of different things anytime I might have one side of the digestive health spectrum and then go all the way to the other. And it was really just empowering to have this. So this is one that I recommend for everyone's bathroom cabinet. Another one we use a lot is things for discomfort. So up here is deep blue. Deep blue is for all things discomfort. There's different ways that you can apply it. There's a rub, which is a lotion version an essential oil version. There's also capsules. So if you're used to taking capsules, this is a great way to start to transition to something that's not going to contribute to uh, liver buildup or anything that might be harmful to your body, toxic buildup. And this is a great one if you're used to capsules. There's also my new favorite, which is the deep blue stick. This also has copaiba in it. So whenever I feel that neck tension, I can just roll it right on. It feels incredible. It's a nice cooling sensation. There's another one that I like to use personally for a uh, little pounding tension that I get sometimes near my temples. And that one is called past tense. And I keep that one in the kitchen because that's where I usually feel that type of discomfort. Another thing that we use a lot in our home are things for skin health. So this is an owie spray that we use in our home. This is just an upcycled bottle that was empty, and I put in here about 10 drops each of lavender, tea tree, and frankincense. The rest is fractionated coconut oil, and anytime my daughter gets an owie, this is really easy to spray on and help that wound. Uh, we also use a couple other things for skin. This is like an all-natural skin ointment called Correct-X. It has some really powerful oils in here, including frankincense, helichrysum, cedarwood, tea tree, and lavender. And it's in a coconut base and you just put it right under the band-aid, wherever you would need it, and just put that ointment on. A couple other things that we use, this is kind of a little hack. So there is a really good diaper cream that doTERRA has, but we're out of diaper phase. And we grab this anytime there's weird skin redness. Uh, my daughter was coming inside with some really, really crazy redness she would get every time she went outside. Later on, we found out that it was a tree that we had cut down and she was getting a reaction to the bark. And so we've gotten rid of that since. But for a good nine months, we couldn't figure it out. But we would put this ointment on it and it would clear it up. So this has in here Roman chamomile, lavender. It has jojoba seed, shea butter and then uh, the zinc. So this is a nice thing to have even without kids is the doTERRA diaper cream. And then another thing that we use for skin, this is something that I made for Christmas gifts years ago and now people ask for it all the time. I do have this on my blog. It's my Miracle Salve recipe. I also have it on YouTube. And this is a Miracle Salve recipe that I say soothes irritated skin and muscles. It's coconut oil, olive oil, beeswax, and then four essential oils, including rosemary, lavender, peppermint, copaiba, and then a little bit of vitamin E. So if my daughter wakes up warm in the middle of the night, we rub this on her spine. If she's just complaining about something on her skin, she knows, just go get the salve. And this is something easy that she can use and it's multi-purpose. And that's one of the things I love about replacing a lot of my bathroom cabinet with essential oils is because they're dual purpose. I can get a lot of uses 
and they're very cost effective. So when we're using, for instance, On Guard, which I'll talk about is for our immune support, we're only using a drop or two per application. So it's pennies per application. So this has 250 drops. Same thing with the Digest Sense. So it's getting a lot of uses each time. I could potentially have 250 uses when I'm using that Digest Sense. So the next thing we use a lot in our bathroom cabinet is our On Guard. This is for immune support. This is something that my daughter puts on the bottoms of her feet before school. I do the same. You can diffuse it. You can take it internally. It has the supplemental facts so you know it's safe for internal use. And then sometimes I even make a mouth rinse with the On Guard. Just a drop of On Guard, sometimes a drop of peppermint or just one or the other and just swirl swish and use it like a mouthwash. Another thing that you can do is combine On Guard and Oregano. So Oregano is something I recommend every bathroom cabinet has. You do not need it often. It's not a daily use product. You usually just need it for seven to 10 days, a few times a day, two, three times a day for seven, 10 days, but you do not wanna to have to wait in the mail to get your Oregano. It is a spicy hot oil, which means you don't put it directly on your skin. It is very spicy, very warming. You would dilute it with fractionated coconut oil and put it on the bottoms of your feet. Or I don't like to smell like a pizzeria, so I put mine in empty vegetable capsules and you can take them internally like that. And what I do when I do that is I combine it with On Guard. So we've got the immune supporting blend, the On Guard, we get the oregano and that's a really good powerhouse. If you're not into making your own capsules, I get it. Just do the On Guard Plus. So these are On Guard Plus capsules, already done for you. They have in here the On Guard blend, but they also have in there a little bit of oregano and they also have uh, tea tree, or um, pardon me, Melissa oil, also known as lemon balm. And that's really good for supporting a healthy immune system. So these, you could take, if I was still working in the hospitals, I would take these every day before going to work. The oregano, when it's mixed in the blend like this, it's not as strong as when you're taking oregano straight. So this would be more of a seven to 10 days as needed thing. This could be taken if you're a teacher or you're exposed to a lot of germs, you're traveling. For me, I just take it as needed. If I've been around a lot of people spreading germs or if I've been traveling, then I might up this, take one a day, or if I really feel like I need some immune support, I will take it a couple times a day for seven to 10 days. So this is a great thing to have in your bathroom cabinet as well. Uh, if you get seasonal discomfort when the season shift and the flowers are blooming, this is a nice one to have. This is something for my husband, it's Tri-Ease. You can make your own capsules or you can get the Tri-Ease pre-done capsules. It's just lemon, lavender, peppermint. And when we used to make these, we used to do a couple drops each of lemon, lavender, peppermint and take them daily or as needed. Uh, another thing we use a lot of is Breathe. This comes in different forms. It can just be the oil that you can diffuse. It can be a roll-on if that's more convenient for you, or the Breathe Stick. This is one that we use kind of like a vapor rub and just rub it on the chest. We rub it on the bottoms of the feet, kind of opens up airways. We're diffusing uh, cardamom, Breathe, some of the fur oils when we need a little bit of extra respiratory support. And I really like the way it smells. Sometimes I use it before going to the gym or a strong workout. Another thing that we use in here is peppermint. Peppermint has a lot of uses. Like I mentioned, a lot of the oils have dual purpose. So I also have one of these in my kitchen. I also have one in my purse because there's so many overlap uses, but this one I use for the mouth rinse that I talked about, but also to bring down a warm body temperature. This works really well at our house. We'll do a squirt of the fractionated coconut oil, that's a carrier oil, and then a drop of lavender, a drop of peppermint down the spine, and that usually can bring down body temperature pretty quickly in our home. And that's one of my favorite uses for that. You could also put a drop on the temples, so that has a nice cooling effect. If you're feeling tension there, that works well, really well too. A couple other ones that I use in here that I want to chat about are frankincense. So this is great for skin things, all things skin, even your beauty routine. I have a separate skincare video about doTERRA's skincare products that I'll link in my blog about this and then also my YouTube video. So this is not my skincare routine, but this is something that sometimes I'll add a couple drops to my face wash or my moisturizer. And this is something that Cleopatra swore by she used 
for her beauty routine and it smells really earthy, it's grounding. They also have a saying about frankincense, it's such a powerful oil. If you were to look up some of the uses for uh, frankincense on a medicinal level, you would be very surprised at all the research that's been done on frankincense. This is someone that you could take daily under the tongue just as an overall supporting healthy inflammatory levels and wellness and homeostasis. Uh, but you could also add it to your skin things like I do for the skin spray and I'll have that recipe on my blog. I'll write up a little bit of information on each of those for the people who need a little more info. And this is, they say when in doubt, use frankincense. So this is one we throw in the bath a lot. We do frankincense and lavender. We'll roll it on our spine, which is a great place for oil, and then the bottom of the feet. Another one that I have, this is not one of the, so a lot of the oils I talked about are in a lot of the starter packages. So if you're brand new to doTERRA or if you have a lot of doTERRA, you may have most of these top 10 already. They come in usually something called the Healthy Start Kit or the Home Essentials, but Heal and Prism does not. So I recommend you add this on when you are shopping at your on your wholesale account, and this is Heal Prism. They've called this, um, in some communities, liquid stitches. It's something that we use immediately if we need some support, if there's bruising, if there's been a cut. Obviously, when you need medical attention, you need stitches, you go to the doctor and you absolutely should seek medical attention. This is something that we, in our home, use in, additional, in addition to our doctors that we love and our traditional healthcare programs. And this is one that also works if you get occasional little nosebleeds, you can put a couple drops here. I have some of this in my emergency hiking kit, my backpacking gear. I have a little sample bottle of it in my car, in my car's emergency kit, because it is that powerful. And it also works really well for discomfort. So you can combine it with deep blue and some copaiba, and that would be really great for discomfort. I have in here some copaiba, which I mentioned. This is one of the products that we use for discomfort, sleep, homeostasis. I also have the Serenity gel caps that we use for sleep, but those are by my bed. So once again, kind of spread out some of the products where you use them most so that you'll actually start to use them. But the Serenity is great if you are working on sleep support, Serenity capsules, one of those and one copaiba work really well, really well for a lot of people. And then of course diffuse some of your oils like serenity, cedarwood, lavender, Roman chamomile. And then the final thing I have in here, I think the final thing, oh no, I got one more thing, are the drops. So you can grab your breathe drop, your on guard drop, your ginger drop for your stomach. These are kind of a nice alternative to traditional drops. And then the final thing in my little tip here is to use lavender and tea tree. That is a great combination for ear health. So if you have ear discomfort or especially little ones, I use this a lot my first few years in my daughter's life and just one drop each of lavender and tea tree, fractionated coconut oil, and we would rub it around her ears. Now one precaution with essential oils is you never stick them inside the ear canal. So never ever put oils inside and drip them in the canal but you can put them around and you can also put them on a cotton ball and then put that cotton ball here. And that works very quickly in our experience and a lot of parents in our community uh, for ear discomfort. So that's an option. And then of course, if you need medical attention, you go and get that as well. But this has worked very well in our house and our daughter has not needed any additional support after using that. So that is an overview of some of the things. If you're brand new, you can get started however you want. I recommend one of the starter packages that has the top 10 oils that'll cover a lot of the things about how to use them. I also have a free ebook that comes with that. You can get 25% off all your orders through Bliss Mama shop page, which is in my blog and linked below this YouTube video. If you have any other tips of how you use some of these in your home, I would love to hear them. And of course, if you have questions, post them below and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching.